major temperature zones of the earth class 5 social studies children look at the picture given and answer the questions below first identify the five special latitudes you have learned about the answer is the equator the tropic of cancer the tropic of capricorn the arctic circle and the antarctic circle what are the degrees of these latitudes the equator is at zero degrees the tropic of cancer 23.5 degrees north the tropic of capricorn 23.5 degrees south the arctic circle 66.5 degrees north and the antarctic circle 66.5 degrees south the three different colors that separate the special latitudes in the above diagram show the three different temperature zones of the earth temperature zones the different temperature zones are also called heat zones the heat in each of these zones depends on how far it is from the equator the temperature zones near the, the equator is the hottest as we move away from the equator the temperature zones becomes cooler the coldest temperature zones are near the poles the same temperature zones are found in the northern and southern hemispheres the climate in the temperature zones has an impact on the natural vegetation as well as the animal life of the zone it also affects the lives of the people who live there the three temperature zones are as follows the torrid torrid means very hot or hot zone between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn the temperate zone temperate means neither too hot nor too cold between the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and between the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere the frigid frigid means very cold or cold zone from the arctic circle to the north pole in the northern hemisphere and the antarctic circle to the south pole in the southern hemisphere the torrid zone the areas which are near the equator 10 degrees north and south of the equator are called the equatorial regions areas between 10 degrees and 30 degrees north and south of the equator are called the tropical regions the torrid zone also has hot deserts and tropical grasslands features of the torrid zone equatorial regions parts of africa south america and southeast asia 10 degrees north and south of the equator hot and humid with rain throughout the year evergreen equatorial rainforests in layers the largest variety of land and water animals very few people live here there is mainly a tribal population tropical regions Indian subcontinents and other parts of Southeast Asia between 10 degrees and 30 degrees north and south of the equator hot summer rainy months cooler winters in the plateaus and hills deciduous trees like teak and sal plant eating and flesh eating animals wild animals farmers and people who live and work in cities and towns hot deserts sahara australian sonoran and mexican deserts arabian desert 15 degrees to 35 degrees north and south of the equator lie on the western side of the continents the sahara stretches from the western to the eastern shores of africa hot and dry with hardly any rain hardy plants adapted with fleshy stems 
thorny and with tiny leaves, long routes and strong seeds. Camels, lizards, and nocturnal animals like rats, snakes, and owls. Tribal population and some cities. Tropical grasslands, parts of Africa, South America, India and Brazil. 5 degrees to 25 degrees north and south of the equator. Also called savanna. Partially humid, hot rainy summer, cool drier winters, with limited rain further away from the equator. Not very fertile soil with large stretches of tall grass and acacia trees. Both plant-eating, buffaloes, rhinos, giraffes, elephants and flesh-eating animals, leopards, jackals, hyenas, termites are found in plenty. Wandering herdsmen, who herds of cattle. Did you know? Hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons are all violent storms that arise in the warm seas of the tropics. They often cause severe damage when they move over land. The Temperate Zone This zone includes all the continents except Antarctica. Temperate means neither too hot nor too cold, which is what the climate in this zone is. Some areas are dry and arid, others have grasslands and there are some forested areas as well. How many different regions are there in the temperate zone? Find them on the above map. Features of the temperate zone Climate Neither too hot nor too cold Warmer near the tropics in both hemispheres. Colder as we move away from the equator. Desert climate in the arid regions. Less rain than hot zone. Has four distinct seasons, summer, winter, spring, autumn. Natural vegetation. Grassland. Grasses and acacia trees. Desert. Thorny plants or those with fleshy stems like cactus. Deciduous Trees that shed their leaves like oak, maple, beech, elm. Coniferous Tall straight cone-bearing trees with needle-like leaves like pine, fir. Mediterranean Mixed vegetation, deciduous, conifers, sequoia and bushes like lavender and rosemary. Animal life Animals are adapted to the habitat in various ways including hibernating and migrating. Northern Hemisphere Plant eaters like bison, grizzly bears, elks, giant panda, carnivores. Southern Hemisphere Anteaters, llamas, alpacas, anacondas, kangaroos, koala bears and wallabies. People Northern Hemisphere Farming Mechanized farming in developed areas that grow large amounts of wheat, hence this region is called granaries of the world. People who live and work in cities Southern Hemisphere Nomadic wandering population in arid regions Farmers and ranchers People who live here and work in cities The Frigid Zone The Northern Frigid Zone includes the northern parts of Asia, Europe, and North America. And the frozen areas to their north. Antarctica lies in the Southern Frigid Zone. The regions around the poles in the Frigid Zone are permanently frozen. In both hemispheres, these parts of the Frigid Zone are called polar ice caps. The region around the North Pole is frozen water, whereas in the South Pole it is frozen land. Antarctica is called the frozen continent. As it is always icy here. Features of the Frigid Zone Climate Northern Hemisphere Extremely cold, mostly frozen water. Strong winds and blizzards in winter. 
small belt of melted snow in summer in some parts of Europe, Asia, and North America. Southern Hemisphere Completely frozen throughout the year. Cold, windy and dry with hardly any new snowfall. Natural Vegetation Northern Hemisphere Very difficult for plant life as the ground is frozen almost throughout the year. Mainly dormant plants Moss, lichen, berry-bearing plants, small trees, and bushes during summer. Cold tundra vegetation Southern Hemisphere Does not support plant life as land is either frozen or barren rock. Very small parts that are sheltered from the wind have tundra vegetation. Animal life Northern Hemisphere Land and sea mammals Polar bear, fish eating, reindeer moss eating, walrus, arctic hares, birds, butterflies, mosquitoes and black flies in summer, no reptiles, southern hemisphere, sea animals, elephant seal, and different kinds of whales, migratory seabirds, albatross, petrels, terns, cormorants, Penguins are the region's best known birds, the flightless birds. People Northern Hemisphere People live only in the coastal regions. Chief occupations are hunting and fishing, people live off animal products as it is impossible to grow crops. Traditional life of the people has changed. Southern Hemisphere No permanent settlers. Only tourists and scientific researchers. Many countries, including India, have their stations here to study the weather and natural resources. Question for you. Why do some animals of the Arctic region have white fur? Write your answer in the comment section. Did you know? Sometimes the night sky in the frigid zone is lit up by spectacular bands of red and green lights. These are called polar lights. Effects of human activity Human beings sometimes interfere with nature for different reasons. This has an impact on animal or plant life, as well as on people who live there. In the temperate zone, Large areas of grasslands were converted into farmland as well as towns and cities for people to live in. Animals, like the mighty bison of North America that lived there in thousands, were reduced to very small numbers. In the torrid zone, large areas of forests are being cut down to clear land for housing or agriculture and to use the valuable timber. In this way, the natural habitats of numerous animals, like the orangutan, are disappearing, and we are also losing the smaller creatures and plants that survive in these habitats. The local tribal people also lose their traditional way of life. A wise man in the 19th century said, the earth is our mother. Whatever happens to the earth, happens to the children of the earth. All things are connected. All human beings need to think about this. Let us remember. The special latitudes and the tilt of the Earth's axis influence the climate of the Earth. The Earth is divided into three temperature zones, the torrid zone, the temperate zone, and the frigid zone. These are the same in both hemispheres. The special latitudes are the dividing lines between the zones. Each zone has its own features with regard to climate, natural vegetation, and animal life. To some extent, the life of the people also depends on the climate and other features of the temperature zone in which they live. In many places, people are interfering, and have interfered, with the natural world. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.